this technology came along, NFTs, that allow sort of like ownership over something virtual. And that allowed people to actually collect what I do, similar to a painting or a sculpture or any other sort of like art. Welcome back to Investment Tribe, where you've subscribed because you want to learn all about cryptocurrencies, NFTs, and other digital assets. Don't forget to leave us a thumbs up and enable the notifications so you'll be alerted whenever we post a new video. Today, we will look back at NFTs and talk about how they can generate passive income by just owning them in the long term. NFTs are the hottest topic right now and we can't stop talking about them. So, we will list down some of the possibilities that NFTs can give us financially. So, if you're interested, be sure to stay tuned. Let me first go through what passive income is. It is basically earning money without having to work for it. For example, you invested stocks in Apple before they launched the iPhone. Then, the company exploded, so you're swimming in cash right now. This money that you are still earning right now is what's called passive income. You can just relax at a private beach somewhere while reading a book and drinking a cocktail or shopping at luxurious malls without the worry of being short on cash. I'm pretty sure all of us want that life. I mean, that's why we go to work every day and why we hustle, right? Well, NFTs might be your Apple stock of today. They might be your road to earning passive income. That's why it is best to study about them right now because it might get very big someday and you don't want to be left out. If you haven't seen our video about NFT where I talked in full detail about what NFTs are, I recommend you check it out. But to summarize, NFTs or non-fungible tokens are unique tokens that cannot be duplicated or copied. They can be associated with digital assets like pieces of art, video game items, wearables, and so on. Some might think that the NFT is somehow modified to look like a piece of art, but it's not like that at all. These tokens are paired with basically an image URL on a site that hosts NFTs like OpenSea. They will say that the token directly represents that image, but they act more as an ID or a pointer on where to find the image. And since they point to a link, the actual image where a certain NFT was assigned can be modified. It's like when you change the design of your website, but the link remains unchanged. But again, NFTs can be much more than digital paintings of apes. They can replace house deeds, or car titles, or even websites. Now for the fun part, how can we possibly earn a passive income through NFTs? I will use an example to make it easier to understand. You know how YouTube pays its content creators through ads, right? These ads are paid by companies to Google so that they will show them before, during, or after the video. Then Google will take a cut of this payment and the rest will be given to YouTubers. Now imagine if a famous YouTuber decides to make NFTs out of his videos and sell them to his fans. The deal is for every earnings that one video makes, 20% will go to the NFT holder. So for example, his video earned $100 in one month, then $20 if it will go to the token holder, just like that. You invested in your favorite YouTuber because you know his videos always get millions of views and now you are passively earning income through YouTube and you don't even make YouTube videos. And this might go on forever as long as that video gets watched. Of course, the deal might be anything. Why stop at 20%? They can offer 100% of all the revenue or they can sell a bundle of videos for one price. The sky's the limit when it comes to these deals. So you can now see the core idea of NFTs. They are a digital representation of an asset that certainly adds value to it. If you're like me, you might have watched some small YouTubers before they got big and thought to yourself, I want to invest in these YouTubers, help them in some way because I love their content and I just know they're gonna make it big someday. This can now be possible with the help of NFTs. It's like investing in stocks but with a more personal connection. This model is starting to be implemented in the music industry. There's an artist called Blau that set up 333 total NFTs for his song called Worst Case. These tokens amount to owning 50% ownership for the rights of the song. Meaning, for every royalty that the song makes on Spotify, 50% of it will be given to the token holders. By using the average price of each NFT on OpenSea, Blau can make a little over $2.5 million by giving away 50% of the rights of the song. But that's just an estimation and it's a one-time payment. Meaning, he can't possibly earn passively through this. So another method that artists can still earn passively from their NFTs is through transaction fees. Expect that these token holders will sell or trade their NFTs someday. 
The artist can exploit this by putting transaction or trading fees every time his token gets traded. For example, $10,000 worth of tokens got traded this month and the artist put a 5% transaction fee, then $500 will be put straight to his e-wallet. Again, the deals can be anything as long as both sides will benefit. Another great possibility of NFTs is through real estate. Imagine a whole apartment building has 100,000 NFTs and each profit will give you a portion of it. This is good for small-time investors who still want to invest in real estate but don't have millions of dollars to invest in. It's like everything is turned into smaller investments that are accessible to the masses. Also, these real estates can turn these NFTs into governance tokens, where anyone can vote on the changes on the apartment building, like the cost of rent, who to accept as a renter, the color of the walls, or who to hire as staff. But that's for another video. But there's a big problem that we need to address, one simple problem that is still not solved today. In my opinion, this is one of the reasons that stopping NFTs from becoming the next big financial opportunity. This problem can be summarized into one simple question, who's going to make the payment? This process is not automized because clearly the blockchain won't be able to make the payments, meaning someone has to physically do it. For example, in a real estate scenario, for every earnings of the apartment building, someone, possibly the landlord, will deposit all of the money into the blockchain and then one by one, distributed to the token holders. Also, to make things worse, for every transaction in Ethereum, there will be fees. And so if you do it one by one, then the fees will pile up pretty quickly. This needs to be addressed right now because I can see that the companies in the future will sell their shares as NFTs too. And speaking of, I personally believe that this will also solve the problem of GameStop's naked short selling issues because NFTs on the blockchain can be tracked down. We can actually see who earned each share where they were, how frequent they were moving, and who's really got diamond hands. I think this is a great place to stop now. This topic is very broad, so putting everything in one video is not ideal. Let me know in the comments what you want to know about NFTs and we'll make them. Well, that's all for now. This is Investment Tribe. See you again tomorrow. Keep in mind to like, share, and subscribe.